At least I can survive three more days eating plants. Ha 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 ha. Hello everyone, it's me, JSkiB, and welcome to Ellen the Demo. It's an indie horror game that I got off of Itch.io. I'm not sure if it's on Game Jolt or not as well, but uh, it's pixelated and it looks really good. It's about like paranormal activity and stuff and it's about Ellen. So we're gonna go ahead and boom. Apparently it's got like a really good story too, so I'm really excited for this. It's not every day you find an indie horror game with a good story. Mostly it's just wandering around and doing stuff. This game is still under development and doesn't portray the final quality of the end product. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited for this because I've been saying I want to play old indie horror games, but I, in reality, I just want to play good ones. <laughs> it's not that I've been playing bad ones. It's that I've been playing very similar games. I haven't found really anything out of the box, you know? All right. Wow. There's a menu and everything. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, uh, new game. Let's just boink right into it. That sounded a lot like, uh, Doki Doki Literature Club sounds. The year is 70, 7992, or maybe 99, I don't know. White Hill is believed to be quiet and peaceful town in England. No one but the town's people know the truth that the town is shadow, shadowed, shadowed by the darkness of paranormal spirits. The mysterious murder of the Smith's family still haunts the streets. It's dark and grimy details are lurking around the corners. Wow, the whole family was murdered. Years have passed since the tragedy struck the town. Many detectives and cops have gone insane trying to make sense of the events, failing to find the cause of the murders. Father, mother, son, all dead, each murdered in an unspeakably gruesome manner. People had assumed the worst since no traces of the daughter. Uh, Ellen were found in weeks following the tragedy. Wow. While recently, a number of witnesses have come forward with the news watching the silhouette of a little girl standing behind the windows of the house. The investigation was reopened. Oh. No one at the police department wanted to take the investigation under their hands, but James stepped forward to resolve the mystery that left everyone stunned for years. Okay, so what happened is this little girl's family was murdered, the little girl went missing, and now people have been seeing her silhouette in her house, and I'm the detective, I'm apparently, who was trying to solve this case. So this ought to be fun. Arrow keys? The fall. What? There's the sounds, though. The sounds are great. Wow. Ugh, my leg hurts. What a fall. It was so dark. I didn't even, I didn't see the broken floor. I need to find my way out of this place. <laughs> oh, I'm limping. Wow, this is so well examined. Skip dialogue. Okay. It was the gift from my mother. What is that? Great. That was my favorite jacket. Oh, the jacket. Okay. He's such a tall guy. But this, oh, wow, even the, like, the limp animation and everything. Can't sprint. Can I crouch? Crouch? No, no crouch, no nothing. So it's just walk and interact. Which means it's gonna be heavy it's gonna be heavily reliant on story then. An unbearable smell is coming from inside. I should go before I faint. Good idea. What's that? Oof, okay. Oh! Hi, 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 okay. So should I like go the other way then? I'm gonna keep going this way. And if there's anything that looks like it's gonna The door's locked. Alright. Keep on going. At least I can survive three more days eating plants. <laughs> That's good. So at least you're not gone forever. Is that a door? That's a door. It's locked. Okay. So I have to go this way. See, I'm so used to, like, I, I've, see a, I've seen a lot of pixel horror games and stuff. But this animation is not bad. And if you see, they're only using, like, one little pfft. And it's, it's really simplistic, but the animation is still really well done. And... I don't know, like, it's, I'm, I'm not an animator, but, <laughs> but it, it just looks good. It's, it's pleasing to the eyes, and I really wish I could sprint, which, I mean, it makes sense that I can't sprint. I just fell down a sewer, pretty much, and, oh, there's a map. Good. You are here. Useless. <laughs> okay. Well, so much for that. Hello. Something about to happen. Can it just, is that a door? It's a door. Okay. Let us go on. 
Is that rotten food? Why is it here? Anyways. Uh-oh. Oh, oh geez. Well, that's my way out. <laughs> Somebody pulling the rope up. I wonder what was kept inside it. Probably a little girl. A little girl's body. Anything here? Nothing here. 2D side scroller. That's I, I kind of like these because it, it really preps you for a good story. It's really like completely rusted. Could fall apart at any moment. Um, a good example would be Night in the Woods. Night in the Woods was really well done and it was 2D side scroller. I can hear water running. Ew, what is that? Keep buzzing. Is it just garbage? Oh, an electrical room. Okay. Can we turn on the power? Someone used it heavily. Oh, a key! Give me that. A rusty broken key. It's useless. Ah, oh, dang it. Of course. Looks like the rats have made these wires their dinner. There's no way I'll be able to restore the electricity. Well, shoot! We should grab the key anyway. At least put it in your pocket. You never know. Oh, snap it open by itself. The poltergeist. Cool, I'll take that. Is there a way to bring up? Ah, cool. There's inventory. That's so... So can I use it on my leg? That's what I need. Cool, all right. Heck yeah, now I can, yeah! All right, that's awesome. Can I, can I jump? There's a stamina meter? Whoa! Is that just on the camera? At least I can survive three more days eating plants. Ha 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 All right, let's go. It's locked. Oh. All right. Whew. Oh, stamina ran out. <laughs> Can't just sprint everywhere. Yuck, at least the flies love it. How long will it, has this been here? Oh, it's different every time you, yuck. I can hear water running. Yuck. Full of stuff, mostly boxes. All right, so your stamina, you really gotta conserve your stamina in this game. I wonder what was kept inside it. it smells like gasoline. Oh, I bet gasoline was kept inside it. All right, let's go. Oh, hello. It's like bright blue now. Look at this. Look at the lighting. Look at the ambiance. Listen to the sounds. This, this game is great. It really is. It's really, really well done so far. Wait, what? Unbearable smell. I should go. The door's locked. Ah, it's not, it's not locked anymore. Uh-oh. Hello. Oh. It reminds me of my school days. A drawing of a scary, bloody monster. There's a cat outside. Maybe it's hungry. Sadly, I can't feed it. Oh, what was that? What was that? Uh, flashlight? F for flashlight. Oh! Yeah! Do I have a battery? It's the drawing of the, probably the cat. An old locker. Oh! What? That's blood on the window. Don't know what killed the cat, but I should quickly find my way out of the basement. Okay. Oh, so you can't sprint with a flashlight. Wow. Okay. Hello, little rat. Alright, let's go this way. I don't want to, like sprint everywhere I go because you never know when something's gonna pop out and try to like eat me All right, so it went from me trying to investigate this girl to me just trying to escape the basement But it is a di where did the food go? It got eaten by a ghost girl zombie thing Who Nelly this is this is nice and nice and scary. Oh Wow, oh god Oh, good. Good, I can't wait to see what bit. Oh, I think I hear someone. It's the shadow people from Hello Neighbor. Oh, oh. It's the house. Hello. Now, if it's all good, I shouldn't worry about starving to death. I own one of these. I wouldn't sit on it.
Okay. Let's go on in the strange room, an old wall phone. It's freezing in here. It's because there's a ghost in here. Dear Mr. Smith, I've been meaning to write you about the rest of the notes crossed out. Uh-oh. Wow. Oh, what's this? I guess it must be barren? Is that the... It's awfully chilly here. Could use some heat. It's locked. So I need a key to get in there. Someone needs to clean this place. Dude, it's an abandoned house! This is the house that the girl was, like, murdered in. I'm pretty sure. Or not the girl, but the whole family was murdered. The girl probably murdered the family. Or maybe she's the only one that's left as a vengeful spirit. Wait a second. That's not the door I went inside. So it just spit me out in a completely different room. It's too dark in here. Luckily, I have a flashlight. Yeah, it got way darker in here. Uh, should I go past it? Should I just keep going? None of these seem interesting. <gasps> oh, hey there, buddy. Who are you? Oh, 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 oh. What? The Shadow Mosner got me. We hope you enjoyed the demo. Do provide with your valuable feedback. Wow, that was, oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, I, I don't think I disliked anything about this game. Like, straight up, I'm just gonna tell you guys straight up. Um, ambiance was great. The lighting was amazing. And the way that it was really simplistic, uh, the pixel art was. Like, you can tell that, like, this stuff could be made on paint. Like, I'm not, I'm not, like, bashing you guys for it because that, it's, it's a good thing that you guys can go so, like, minimalist on, like, the character models and, like, this, so you see how jagged it is? And it still has its own, like, style, it still has its own charm, and it, it's really intriguing, and I can't wait for the full game to come out. I'm really excited. The sounds, the lighting, the character models, the movement, everything about this was awesome. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you slap that like button underneath the video, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.